Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through today's tutorial on displacement and velocity expressed as a function of time in simple harmonic motion. So previously in lesson 2, we derived the expression of velocity as a function of displacement and this is was the expression. So we shall start from this expression and derive velocity and acceleration in terms of time. So from this expression, when you put square root on both sides, you will come up with this, plus or minus square root of omega squared, open brackets, r squared minus x squared. So taking the positive root, we'll get this. We know that velocity is the same as dx dt, which is the rate of change of displacement. So where there is v, put there dx dt. Then you collect like terms, put x alone and t is on one side. So when you do that, this will come this side to become a denominator. So from there, we shall put integrals on both sides to give that line. And when you integrate this, we shall come up with x sine x over r. This side, this is a constant, so in that integrated constant, we shall just get omega t plus epsilon. Now this epsilon, it will be our constant for integration. So in that case... When you bring this x sign the other side, we shall get x over r equal to sine omega t plus epsilon in brackets. When you bring this one the other side, we shall come up with x equal to r sine in brackets omega t plus epsilon. And that will be our equation 5. But since velocity is the same as dx dt, we shall differentiate this to get that. So when I differentiate r, sine omega t plus epsilon, we shall get r omega cos omega t plus epsilon. So note, the function x equal to r sine omega t plus epsilon means that x is periodic, performing omega cycles in 2 pi radians with amplitude r. The constant omega is called the angular velocity, I think you've already known that. And its unit is radians per second. The period T of motion is the time for omega complete cycles. Since omega cycles are performed in 2 pi radians, it follows that T is equal to 2 pi omega. I think you already saw that formula. So let's go to the second note. The constant epsilon is called the phase angle and depends on the position of the particle when timing commences. So there are two cases. The particle may start from one of the endpoints, may start from either P and go this side, or it may start from the mean position and go either this side or that side. So there are two cases when the particle starts from the endpoints or when it starts from the mean position. Both cases are handled differently. Let us see how. So case 1, when a particle starts from the main position and moves towards A or B, it implies that when the particle is still at the main position, X at the main position, X will be equal to 0 and time will be equal to 0. What does that mean? Come back to your formula for X and substitute. Where there is X put there 0 and where there is T put there 0. You end up with 0 equal to R sine epsilon. In that case, epsilon is equal to 0. So when you bring it back to your equation 5 and 6, you will come up with the following equations. As x equal to r sine omega t and v equal to negative r, r omega cos omega t. So these are the two formulas used if the particle starts from the mean position and goes towards the endpoints. The second case is when the particle starts from one of the endpoints and moves towards the mean position. In this case, it means that it implies that when the particle is still at the end points, x is equal to a, but t is equal to 0. So come and substitute for x and t. x will be equal to r, and t will be equal to 0. So in the end, you will come up with r equal to r sine epsilon. That epsilon will be equal to x sine 1, which is equal to pi over 2. Remember here we use radians. So when you substitute that epsilon in the in equation 5, you come up with this. But we know that cos omega t plus pi over 2 is the same as, sorry, 
sin omega t plus pi over 2 is the same as cos omega t. So in this case, this becomes that. And therefore, equation 5 and 6 will become x equal to r cos omega t and v equal to negative r omega sin omega t. So those are the two expressions, one when the particle is starting from the main point, another when the particle is starting from the end point. I think you can see that the expressions are different. So we shall use that to go through the solution to the following problems. So problem one, a particle is performing supermonic motion with center O, amplitude 6 meters and period 2 pi. Points B and C lie between O and A with OB equal to 1 meter, OC equal to 3 meters and OA equal to 6 meters. Find the least time taken while traveling from A to B and Roman 2 A to C. So this will be our sketch. So first of all, they told us that the amplitude is 6 meters and they also told us that OA is 6 meters. What does that mean? It means that OA will be our amplitude. B and C are in this position. Say that OB is 1 meter and OC is 3 meters. This will be the amplitude 6 meters. We are also given period as 2 pi. So if you are coming and say period is equal to 2 pi over omega and it was given as 2 pi. So when you make omega the subject, you come up with omega as 1 rad per second. So now for motion AB from A to B, the displacement will be always from the mean position. So the displacement will be 1 meter. And because it's starting from the end point, we shall use x equal to r cos omega t. I think I've already derived that. Now then substitute for x which is 1, substitute for r which is 6, and substitute for omega which is 1. We shall come up with this. When you make t the subject, we shall come up with this. So remember, calculator has to be in radians. If you don't put it in radians, you will not be able to get this value. So make sure your calculator is in radians. That's when you'll be able to get the time as 1.4033 seconds. Then you also wanted the time for A to C. From A to C, the displacement has to be from main position, which is 3 meters. So in this case, we shall use X as 3, R as 6, and Omega as 1. So when we make this the subject, we shall come up with pi over 3, which it can be rounded off as 1.0472 seconds. And that will be the time they wanted. So problem 2. A mass oscillates with symbolic motion of period 1 second. The amplitude of oscillation is 5 centimeters. So not that word centimeters. Given that the particle begins from the center of the motion, state the relationship between the displacement x of the mass at any time t. Hence, find the first times when the mass is 3 centimeters from its end positions. So first of all, amplitude has to first be converted from centimeters to meters. Similarly, this distance has to be converted from centimeters to meters. But you should note that this distance was given from the end position, but our x is from the mean position. So this will be the 3 end position, 3 end position. Then from the mean position to be 0 0.02. Why? Because the amplitude was 0 0.05. So when you say 0 0.05 minus 0 0.03, you'll be able to come up with your x as 0 0.02. The period was also given as 1. Remember, period is 2 pi over omega. So when we make omega the subject, we shall come up with our omega as 2 pi rad per second. Therefore, the relationship between x and the mass, x of the mass at any time t, is given by x equal to r sine omega t. Remember the particle started from the center. That is why we use sine. So, but we know our amplitude as 0 0.05 and our omega as 2 pi. So, come and substitute for amplitude and, two, and omega. So, this will be the expression they wanted for x in terms of t. So, come and substitute where there is x, you put there 0 0.02. 
then you make sign the subject which is that make pi 2 pi t the subject to get arc sine 0.02 over 0.05 so when you use your calculator in radians you will be able to get these values the two values why because the one the two times so when pi when 2 pi t is equal to this you will come up with your t as 0.0655 and when your 2 pi t is equal to this you will come up with your t as 0.435 seconds so those are the two times they wanted and that brings us to the end of our lesson thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa a learning platform